Actually, this play was originally conceived as an oratorio, you know, with uh, large puppets, you know, because like, you know, 16 feet tall puppets. And, um, but in the end, I realized the piece would never exist if I were to try and do it on that scale. So um, I knew that if I was actually going to actually perform this thing, I would, I'd had to find another structure to carry the idea. And it, as soon as you go down to one person, that was really very satisfying, in a way even more satisfying than having individual actors playing the different roles. Because when you do individual actors, you, it, it, um, you think, you know, the whole, uh, the whole object is that, that the, the, fl the flesh kind of gets in the way. I have a hard time talking about this. But, um, you know, the, the thing is there's a lot of people in this play, several characters, who are gone, they're dead, but they're very much alive in our minds and our hearts, inspiring us. But when you cre act with them with f the f as, as a real actor, you have a tendency to keep getting confused by thinking that the actor on stage is what it's all about. But it's not about that. It's about um, ghosts, so to speak, who are alive. And when you use puppets, and in the play we use rod puppets, you're very aware that what's there is not real. And it's constantly, but it's moving, and it's alive, it's inspiring, it's causing you to laugh. And you say, where is this coming from? <laughs> and uh, it begins to make you think mystically. It, makes, makes you th it begins to tune you in to, to the fact that even our own bodies are not that different than the puppets. So um, uh, the play moved from an oratorio into one person. And really, the just it's not about me. It's, it's about the imagination, the imagination of the audience and the actor and the techniques that are chosen are devices which don't point to the actor but they point to this invisible realm and uh, so abstraction really helps I think in sacred subjects. I don't even know what I'm doing. Would you tell me about Baha'u'llah? 